Here we're taking a look at the second period in the periodic table. On the left side, we start out with lithium, then we have beryllium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. And trying to understand the size of the atom based upon the electron structure around the nucleus in each case. So going from helium, which is one nucleus with two charges and just two electrons around the nucleus, we now go to lithium, which has a third electron and a third charge in the nucleus. And the third electron has no room on the inner energy level, so the third electron is found in the s orbital on the second energy level. And because it's now on the second energy level, it is being partially screened by the two electrons in the innermost energy level, and so therefore we find the lithium atom to be a fairly large atom because of the screening effect of those two inner uh, electrons. And there's only three charges there, and so there's not as strong of an attractive force as that third electron, and therefore the atom is quite large. When we now go to beryllium, which has an extra charge in the nucleus and a second electron in the second energy level, we find that, that, that uh, atom to be quite a bit smaller than lithium. The reason for that is there's a stronger force of attraction and the screening effect to the nucleus for the two outer electrons is no different here than it is here because it's the same number of electrons screening out the nucleus, only two, and now the nucleus has four charges instead of three, so it's pulling those two outer electrons in a little bit closer, making the atom a little bit smaller. Going out to boron, same thing again, the, screen, the screening effect is no different as it was for beryllium as it is for lithium, and so therefore the force of attraction to the outer three electrons is even stronger now with five protons in the nucleus, and therefore it gets pulled in. And so you can see this repeating all the way through on that second period. Notice as the nuclear charge gets bigger in the nucleus, more and more positive charge, forming a stronger force of attraction to all the electrons around it. The screening effect is no different for any of these um, for any of these atoms in the second period because it's only those two electrons that are doing the screening and so therefore the, the size of the atom becomes smaller and smaller and smaller as we go further and further and further out on that second period. So definitely you can see the periodicity here. We go to the second period, the atoms are larger than they are for um, the first period, but again, going from left to right, the atoms become smaller due to the stronger force of attraction with more charges in the nucleus, positive charge in the nucleus, and the screening effect being pretty well the same for all of these atoms, and therefore the nucleus, I mean, the size of the atom continues to get smaller. Right. Um, so here are the values and the radius for the various atoms. You can see that they do get smaller as we go. Now these, are what we would call the metallic radii and these are the covalent radii. So we did use a different measuring technique to measure the radius of these various atoms. It's more convenient from a practical perspective to do the metallic because uh, these form nice metallic uh, uh, shapes and so we can easily measure the volume of a metallic block of lithium or beryllium and we can draw a line in between here to make it easier to understand. So these are on the left side of the periodic table. So these, these are part of the metals. This is to the, the right side of the periodic table. And these are what we call the representative elements. These are the metals and these are representative elements. So it's better to come up with the radii as they are bonded together with other, other elements. And so we tend to find it much easier to find the covalent radius for those elements and to find the metallic radius for these elements. Anyway. So to conclude, you can see that there's a nice periodicity here in the second period, as you can see where the radii do get smaller due to the attractive force of the nucleus to the electron charges around the nucleus.